Can you see them all now? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's super cool. What's up, people? Today, um, this is uh, Mrs. G, and this is my daughter, Harley, which you can no longer see because she's standing <laughs> up trying to... <laughs> and we are going to, today, we are going to learn about photosynthesis and how um, plants have this special organelle that allows them to photosynthesize. And so I thought it'd be fun to make a chloroplast. So it will help give kids a little deeper understanding of the different uh -oh. parts and stuff and make it a little bit more fun. So what we're going to use today is we're going to use Twinkies. Woo we love Twinkies. And uh, we're going to use Twinkies. Plus, you can see we have some little writing icing and we have some food coloring and uh, some pancake mix. And then something you can use. And yes, these are the ingredients. Thank you, Harley. Sometimes I get a little too fast. <laughs> I got to slow down and think about it. And uh, we also have... Um, some stuff to help spray when we do the pancakes and then we have a little container to uh, help us make the pancakes and a bowl a spoon knife fork right here's all our ingredients so let's get started so harley um you want to go ahead and open it up and grab us a twinkie we're going to open the twinkie and we are going to gently open it so not to damage this is going to be this is going to be our it's our baby this is going to be our chloroplast right here. All right, Harley, be careful. There's our chloroplast. So first off, Harley, have you ever been afraid a plant is going to eat you? No. Yeah, when you go outside, you lay on the grass, a plant doesn't, the grass doesn't start going. Ahem. No, no, it doesn't do that, right? <laughs> you would beat the plant. Um, the plant does not do that. The reason why the plants don't do that is because they don't need to eat like how we eat. You know how we eat, we go out and we're hungry, we eat a Twinkie. We eat a hamburger, we eat a salad, anything we eat. Well, plants um, don't need to eat, like I said, because they can photosynthesize, which creates their own sugars for them. So instead of eating stuff to get their sugars, they can do it inside their body. They are so unique. We and, wash their hands. And the reason why they can do this is because they have an organelle that's called the chloroplast. And the chloroplast looks like this, okay? And um, so this Twinkie is going to represent our chloroplasts. And if you guys already know, plants are green, so we got to color them green. So that's the first step. And then we're going to show you parts inside this chloroplast and how um, we'll talk about again how plants can photosynthesize. So now we got to color our Twinkie green. Okay, what you're going to do is add a bit of the icing. Yep, she's adding a little bit white icing. Go ahead, just add a bunch, whatever you're going to do. And she's going to start using her finger. Now, you make sure you wash your hands, of course, before this. And she's going to wipe her finger all over it. So now we have a green chloroplast. And what we're going to do next is we are going to, uh, what are we going to do next earlier? I forgot. Oh, we're going to do surgery on it. We're going to cut it open. So this is inside plants, inside a plant cell. And again, this is where the magic of photosynthesis happens. This allows them to make their own sugars. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, so here's the inside of him. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> so now that we have him open, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the frosting, right, Harley? So we gotta get the frosting out. So we're going to uh, take out the frosting. We might even wanna take out a little bit more of the insides. And so we're gonna take the frosting out because what are we gonna do with the frosting, Harley? Is we're Yes, we are gonna dye it and we're gonna color it. What color? Green. Yeah, just because we're thinking of plants and how they're green. And so we're going to take out all of the stuff inside.
So another thing you can have, which um, I'll include a link down below, is you can have words to kind of help your child learn these different terms um, and uh, help them with their vocab when they're learning about the photosynthesis happening in this organelle. So Harley, this entire thing is representing as a green chloroplast, the entire chloroplast. Twinkie. Okay, chloroplast. All right, and where does this occur? Who has these organelles inside? Plant cells, very good. So here's another vocab term for you, plant cell, very good. So now we got it in, we got all of our frosting out that was inside of it, and that is gonna represent what's inside a chloroplast, and that is called stroma. They have this fluid inside, it has other stuff in it too, like inside the fluid, but anyways, but this fluid part is called stroma. So we're gonna take this um, frosting stuff that was inside, and we're gonna color it green. So Harley, there you go. So we're gonna grab our green food coloring right here, and Harley's gonna make it green. All right, Harley, there you go. She's gonna make it green. So she can add a couple drops to make it green. I'm gonna see if I have any more frosting in there I can get out while she's doing that. So we have the stroma right here. And just to give Harley another little vocab term, Harley, uh, can you say stroma for me, Harley? Stroma. Stroma, here you go. That's our next little vocab term, okay? And now we are going to uh, make the thylakoids that are also inside of chloroplast. So we have right here some pancake mix in the container that we just got, and we just have to add water to it, which is so cool. So I'm gonna turn around and add a little bit of water to it, Harley. Uh, go ahead and start mixing it, our pancake mix. You can, they can't see you. You got to put it up here a little bit. There we go. Now mix it. And um, she's, as she's making her pancake mix, you can see right here we're going to be putting it in this next, but we got to add some green dye to it first, some food coloring. Mm. You don't want it too thick because we're making really small, small little flat pancake-like. it's good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me see. So go ahead and add a couple drops, Harley, right here. Add a couple drops, stir it. See, I, I already forgot. Mix. We're making our thylakoids. Okay, oh, oh, come on, add a couple more drops. No, you want them to be like, let's see, hurry up. Mm -mm. Want, you gotta put it, it up here. Perfect. You gotta put it up here, they can't see you. See? You gotta go up here a little bit more, right there. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna do is put it in here. Go ahead. All right, let's put it in here. Well, let's start quick right here. Oh, oh, maybe I should do this part. All right. And you got to do it way over here so people can see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it right. Okay. Well, see if I can... What do you mean you got it right? You forgot the food dye. I did forget the food dye. Huh. All right. So now we're going to put our little top on this. Ah! And this is what we're going to use to make the little flat pancakes. The flat pancakes, Harley, these are going to be called thylakoids, all right? Thylakoids. You see right here? Thylakoids. All right? Thylakoids. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to uh, take our little heating little, I forget what this is called. This little pan that warms Let up. Let your parents do this, kids. Uh, yes, yes. Make sure your parents are doing this part of it. And so I'm going to start by spraying it. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. Okay, mm. so now I'm going to spray it. Ah. All right, I mean, see, I maybe put too much. So you guys might want to watch out how much you put. Anyways, we're going to use this and we're going to make it. And the pancakes have to be tiny. So little tiny ones. Do, oops. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I'm not doing a very good job of it. I saw people, other ones, make it a little bit better, but it's okay. We just want a bunch of little kind of pancakes, so but a bunch of little drops is okay. I might even be can doing too do much. Is that what they do? Yeah. Oh, it's a pancake challenge going on right now, right? I think it is a pancake challenge going on right now. All right, anyways, so now you've got your little pancakes in there. Cooking. Smells like, smells burning. And then we are going to uh, start flipping them over. Ah! 
This is probably the hardest part for me. Just kind of flipping them down. Oh, be careful, Harla. You really want to make them flat if you can. Oh, see, now I got a whole bunch right here. Okay. And the reason why you want to make them flat is because inside the chloroplast they have uh, um, this item that's called a thylakoid and it's like a real flat, it looks, I like to call them like a flat little pancake that's inside the chloroplast. And that's actually the first stage where photosynthesis occurs. Alright, so now uh, Harley, we're going to grab a thylakoid. So you're going to grab a little tiny flat pancake. Oh, it's so fun. Aw, look at it. It's so cute. So there it is. Mm -hmm. So she has a green little flat thylakoid. And then um, now you actually got to grab several of them. Because we're gonna make something that's called a uh, gran granum. Uh, I think it'll be okay because we're gonna put the frosting in first, like we said. So she's got two so far. Oh, three. How many you got here? Three because it's kind of hard to do four. Okay, well, we can have one more. We'll help you. All right, and so now we have how many thylakoids right here, Harley? Four. Yeah, we have four thylakoids. And all of these thylakoids together, all of them together. Ah, I'm trying to look for my vocab term. Did I give you the word? No, I haven't. Okay. This is called a granum. So go ahead and put that together. So how many granums do we have? Four granums. One. Wait, what? One granum. A granum is a stack of thylakoids. So how many stacks do we have right here? One. One stack. How many thylakoids do we have in here? Four. Yes, the four little tiny pancakes. So this right here is going to go inside our what? What's this Twinkie called, Harley? This is the organelle where photosynthesis happens. What's it called? Um, chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay, very good. So now Harley's going to go ahead and she's going to start putting... Oh, uh, we got to put the stroma back in first, right? I think that's what we said. Um, so the stroma is the liquid part. So we're going to go ahead and put our... Um, pancake down? little pancake down. I'm going to squish it even a little bit. There I you go. Hold it. It's okay. I squish it a little bit. Oh, let's get rid of this part. So go ahead, Harley. And what she's going to do right now is she is going to add in, where did it go? Is this all it right here? Did it melt? No, this is our, what's called? Oops. <laughs> here it is right here. Here's our Twinkie stuff. She's going to add in this stuff, which is our stroma. You can point to the word stroma, Harley. Stroma. She's going to add this back in to our, what? What's the entire thing called? Or this. Chloroplast. Very yeah, good. So here you go. So she's going to start adding it back in. Um, you can use your finger. You might have to like scoop it off and put it back in. So she's going to add it back into the Twinkie. I'm going to have to use my finger, guys, because it's like, oh my god, it's moving with me. So she's adding it back into the Twinkie. And you could also add like more if you wanted it to be a little bit more. You could add more, um, have some green kind of frosting on the side and stick that in if you wanted more inside your Twinkie. Get the real stroma kind of feel. All right, so now that we have it back in, we're missing the thylakoids, right? So remember, a stack of thylakoids is called what? It's called what? It's called a granum. Here it is right here, kind of squished a little bit. They're real tiny, flat, like little pancakes. How many thylakoids is in here? All right, so go ahead and stick it back into your chloroplast. So she's going to stick it into the stroma. There we go. Now let's do another one. Go ahead and grab. Let's make another granum. Can you make me another granum? So how many thylakoids do you want to put in this one? Do it. Come over here. Do another four maybe? Okay, so she's going to grab four more. So now she's grabbing four little flat ones. And she's going to squish them down. Squish them down. All right. Oh, okay, now don't squish it too hard. Now we have our granum right here, and we're going to stick it in. Ah, i got to kind of fix it right here. Okay, so now here, how many granums do we have? Two granums. How many thylakoids do we have? Eight. Eight, yes. And so um, this right here is what a chloroplast uh, has. It was so easy. And this is where her photo it is messy. Hopefully your eyes is a little bit better. Um, so where photosynthesis happens, it happens inside this chloroplast that plants have. Plants have a lot of these. And um, when you break them open, that's what you would find inside. The um, stuff that is inside the frosting kind of part inside the Twinkie is called the what? What kind is it? What term is it? The frosting stuff inside was called what? Um, I forgot. It's okay. Which word do you think it is? Is it thylakoid? Is it granum? Is it chloroplast? Stroma. Very good. It's the what? 
Stroma? Stroma, very good. So stroma. So anyway, so inside the chloroplast, like I said, you have the stroma with the thylakoids in it. They're in stacks, and it's called a granum. If you're talking about all of the stacks, then it's called a grana. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I always have a little trouble pronouncing stuff. Grana. Anyways, all of the stacks are called grana. And anyways, and this is where the first stage of photosynthesis happens. This is where plants are able, because the thylakoids have these absorbing pigments where they can absorb that sunlight. And they use that to do the first stage, which is called the light dependent reactions. Harley, do you think the first stage needs light? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because it's called the light dependent reaction. The second stage will actually occur out in the stroma. And then that at the end of this whole process, sugar is made. And plants just made what, Harley? What did they make for themselves? Sugar. Sugar. They made sugar for them. And that sugar is their source of food. So you don't have to go outside and worry about the grass eating you, okay, Harley? I would punch it anyway. <laughs> now, there are some plants that actually can do both. They can photosynthesize and they can eat little creatures. Uh, little tiny insects and stuff. Do you happen to know what type of organism can oh, do this? Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a plant that has like spiky teeth and then it eats like bugs and stuff. Yes, that's called the Venus flytrap, right? I knew it was like They do bugs. both and they actually get extra protein from being able to eat these little creatures, the little um, insects and stuff that land on them. Very cool. If you've never ever got one, you should get one. They're fun to have in your house. All right, other than that, Harley, um, this looks pretty good. So uh, I was going to enjoy our, her chloroplast, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. And uh, check out my links in the description if you'd like to get some of these vocab terms to help with your children. I'll have a little outline of what you need for this. And other than that, we'll see you next time. Stay creative. Bye, you guys. Curious, creative, all that good stuff. Bye, Tom.